next that we have in data structures uh, set. So sets are created using the curly bracket. These are unordered, unchangeable, which means immutable, and unindexed. Uh, unindexed is very important and uh, akin to sets. Uh, sets help to ensure there are no duplicates. For example, if you have a collection of ID numbers, you do not want any duplicates. And since there are no duplicates, no two items can have same value in a set. Here is an example of a set uh, where we're creating a set of three colors. Um, coming back to our code, uh, let's try to first create a set. So this is how we create a set, right? And if I run this, you'll see I get a set created, which is my set. Again, there are no indices over here. There are no index numbers. So this is a property key to a set. Uh, to access an item of a set, uh, you cannot access the item using the index since there are no index but you can definitely loop through the set items the way you do it in other collection of objects like in list and shuffle so you can say for x in my set and then print the value so you can uh, loop through each element like this or you can check if a specific element like in this case this color black exists so i'll say print black in my set so to check if black exists and say true or false depending on whether it exists or not you can also create uh, uh, a new set from existing set by using the union. The union is used to join two sets uh, together. So if I have set one, set two like this, I can create a new set. And you'll see that a set three is created, which have all the elements coming from one and set one, set two. Uh, you can also add an item to a set by using the keyword add so set name right set name followed by a dot and then add and then add the element uh, like this so this way you can add a new element to a set and you see this new set will have a new element arranged right? uh, again since there is no uh sets don't have any index uh they are unordered so this new one does not get added at the end like in the case of list but it randomly gets added so you see orange is appearing here right? uh, and then you can use the set keyword right so you can have if i have a list like this and if i have a tuple like this i can create a new set by using the set keyword so i say set and the list name or set and the tuple name so this way i'll get so these are two uh, example of list and tuple. So I have uh, my list and my tuple here, which is which are list and tuple. And then I can convert them into new set from list or new set two from tuple. And I'll say this new set coming from list is a set now, and new set two coming from tuple is a set now. So this way you can convert a list and a tuple into a set using the set keyword. So that's all about set and data structures in Python. More in the next session. Thank you.